Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an itty tiny 85 programmer board with using an Arduino Nano with an added feature where you can be able to program three itty tinies at the same time. Let's get started. ZIF IC socket holder, and this is a 28 pin version. You're also going to need an Arduino Nano and a perf board, and of course, you're going to need some wires. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. This right here is the schematic of the basic pinout of an ATTiny 85 microcontroller. Following this pinout of the ET Tiny, you can be able to wire the Arduino Nano to it to be able to program the ET Tiny. And as you can see with this little component, it has 28 pins, which means I can only fit three ET Tiny 85 microcontrollers in it. Now, my perf board size is I could actually program nine ET Tinies at once, but just for simplicity, I'd rather just program three at once. And sure, I could have bought one of these little components here, and I could program just one ET Tiny 85. First, what I'm going to do is take three ET Tiny 85 microcontrollers, place them into this component, lock them in place. Next, I'm going to take this permanent marker and place a little mark in between each ET Tiny 85 microcontroller, so then that way I know where to place the ET Tiny 85. So then that way, it'll be easier to identify where the pins are while soldering and placing the ET Tiny in the future. Next, what I'm going to do is take my pocket knife and cut out these little marks that I made. So that way, the marks are more permanent. And then take a file and cut it out. Next, I'm going to take a permanent marker and fill out these grooves so that way it can become more visible. There we go. Much easier to see now. Next, I'm going to take the perf board and the Arduino Nano and place it into the perf board. Push it in all the way. Clamp it down. And now, solder it into place. Next, I take the socket holder and place it into the perf board. Solder in one pin and then remelt it by pushing the socket holder in place so that way it's more flush with the perf board. Next, I'm going to solder in all of the pins in place. And there we go, should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take these flush wire cutters. And then each of the pin of the Arduino Nano, I'm going to cut off the unneeded pins. And leave the remaining pins that are needed uncut. As you can see, I don't need these pins. The RX and TX, those are not needed, but the ground is needed. Data 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all of those pins I do not need. But, but data pin 10, 11, 12, 13, those I need. And according to the schematic, leave the pins that are needed. And as you can see, I don't need any of the analog pins. Just leave the three volts and the data pin 13. And of course, leave the ground pins in place. Next, what I need to do is I need to link all of these pins here, which are all pin eight of the ET Tiny, And those pins need to be linked together, which will connect to the three volts. which is right here. And looking at this pin here, this one needs to be linked. And that one too, and that one too. There, those are all the pins that are need to be linked to the three volts. Next, what I'm gonna do is take these wires, connect pin eight to pin eight, and then again to pin eight, which is the ET Tiny's voltage input 
and then connect it all to the 3 volt pin of the Arduino Nano. And now according to the schematic, follow each of the pins that are connected to the Arduino Nano to the ATtiny. For example, connect all the pin 7s to D13, which is data pin 13. Which is pin 7 here, here, and here. And then data pin 13 is right here. Those pins need to be connected with these wires. And there we go, pin 7 is all connected to data pin 13. And then the same thing for pin 6. To go over to data pin 12. Which is located right here. And repeat the same process. And then again, repeat the same process with pin 5 to connect to data pin 11. And now pin 1 to connect to data pin 10. Connect all the pin 1s together, and then of course again, connect to data pin 10. And now right here, I have this ground pin. I actually don't need this one. And then connect all of the pin 4 of the ATtiny, which is ground, and connect all of the grounds together. And there we go, pin 4 is now grounded. Next, what I need to do is cut off the excess header pins, just to make the circuit a little bit cleaner. And now I'm ready to program the Arduino Nano to be able to program the ATtinys in the future. Before I do that, I need to do a continuity test. Some of you may remember from a previous video of me making this continuity tester. Click on this annotation card to see how I made this device. Now I'm going to go and test the VCC, touch this pin here, and test the 3 volts. Good. Good. Perfect. And from the looks of it, everything is now connected properly. And there, your ATtiny85 programmer device is now ready to use. And now let's go ahead and see if the ATtiny85 microcontrollers are programmed and see if they work. Place it into a perf board and make a simple circuit. Power it with a 3 volt button cell battery. And as you can see, the first ATtiny85 works. And now the second ATtiny85 works. And the third ATtiny85 works. Perfect, all three ATtiny85s work. 
And as you can see, the green LED isn't very bright. So what I'm gonna do is add one more three volt button cell battery to make a total of six volts. And there, everything lights up much brighter. Perfect. Hmm, how interesting. Powering all three microcontrollers together causes an interesting delay of the LEDs. I would think that all three of them would blink at the same time. Hmm, I wonder why. To those who are watching, please leave a comment below letting me know why all three of the LEDs don't blink together and why they blink separately. Next experiment, I'm going to connect the circuit directly to my lap bench power supply, which will supply steady current. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a very simple 80 tiny 85 programmer board with using an Arduino Nano. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.